another battlefield update, another list of stealth changes that have secretly been put into the game without us knowing because they're not in the patch notes. These things kind of just get overlooked sometimes, but it's fun for us players to try and find them. I'll leave a link in the description to the sources of some of the people who found these. I found some myself, but as always, I want to credit where credit is due. The Reddit thread is in the link in the description where a load of people have posted what they found in terms of stealth changes, and most of those will be on this list. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. First of all, we have the ability to expand player cards in the loading menu. You can now have a full look at your teammates' player cards and their rank and all the stuff displayed on it while you're picking your loadouts before the game starts. PC players can now also use their scroll wheel to navigate the battle pass, which apparently is actually a feature people have been asking for for quite a while, as before, you'd have to click left and right between each reward on the pass to see what was next. Similarly, you can now use the page numbers at the bottom to go through battle pass rewards and skip it in chunks of 10. You can do this on console and on PC either by using your right stick, left and right instead of your left stick, and clicking on the page numbers on PC. Interestingly, the transport helos have had their transport section renamed Gunship. Now this could mean one of two things. One is that it still is serving mainly as a transport, but is now being classed just as a gunship because DICE feel it's quite powerful and fits that role, or two, we could actually be getting an actual transport class coming in the future, maybe with a future season, having a transport helicopter that has no weaponry on it, or just the miniguns on it, like the transports from Battlefield 4. This would be really interesting and would open up the possibility of some maps not having gunships on them, but you still being able to transport people around the map with an actual transport helo. But who knows, this could mean nothing and it was just a simple rebrand. I haven't been able to find these myself, but other people seemingly have, and that is that player cards are now in the collection that link to squad orders, so the amount of squad orders you give will then unlock a certain player card. This is probably in preparation of update 5.2, which brings the hourglass rework and the squad orders system fully. A stealth bug that has appeared is that the aim assist no longer works on some weapons on console. I'm not sure about Xbox, but definitely on PS5, guns like the EMR just do not have aim assist at all which needs to be looked into and fixed. Maybe they've decreased it silently on purpose, but I'm really not sure. Speaking of the EMR, it now has new animations and sounds, I'm fairly sure. The animations feel a bit more polished for some reason, and the sounds definitely have had a boost, just like the 416s had when the assault rifles got a vault weapon pass. Moving on, the RPG now has more drop than it used to. I can definitely feel this when using it. It no longer flies in such a straight line and now actually curves naturally onto the floor. I don't really use the RPG too much, so let me know if this is a good or bad change, whether you think it's good for balancing or whether you think it's just slightly annoying because it makes it less effective. Interestingly, pre-order skins have now been given randomly to players for free. I haven't got this and I bought the gold edition, but some players have just been given the ultimate edition rewards like the Ranger skin and the other skins for Casper just out of nowhere. It's unclear whether this is a bug or whether it's intended, but people are just randomly getting these skins that people paid extra money for when the game dropped. Which is slightly weird, and if it's on purpose, it's a really bad move towards the players that paid extra, but I'm assuming this is just a bug on the storefront. Speaking of the storefront, you can now buy individual cosmetics through the bundles and don't have to buy the bundle itself. So if you like a cosmetic in a certain bundle, you can just go ahead, buy individual, and it'll take you to that cosmetic so you can buy it on its own, as opposed to the bundle which costs a hell of a lot more. Speaking of cosmetics, obviously a new update, new week, brings new cosmetics and weekly missions. These are all in the store and on the Battle Pass missions menu, that goes without saying. Penultimately, people are reporting new sounds across the board. I've heard some of these, but some of the reported ones are new sounds for the SFAR, the M5, and the RM68. I also think I've heard new sounds for McKay's grapple gun, as it sounds slightly lighter than it used to, but I might be placeboing myself. Please do let me know if you've heard this as well and see a change. Interestingly, either a stealth bug or a stealth change has been introduced where some maps on Rush don't have any vehicles at all, especially portal maps like Araga Harbor and Caspian Border apparently just don't have the vehicles they're supposed to on Rush. There is a specific infantry Rush mode, which is there on its own, so I'm assuming what has happened here is a bug and not an intended change at all. Anyway, there we have it, the stealth changes that we found and I found from update 5.1 for Battlefield 2042. Overall, it is good stuff. And while there are a bunch of changes to Hazard Zone, I will get into that in tomorrow's video on Hazard Zone especially. These are just the changes in the main game. Let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. I think they're all pretty positive, apart from obviously the new bugs introduced. Thank you all for watching once again. Feel free to like and subscribe if you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.